No, uh, it's time for Therapy Week, so now it's Monday. I am here this morning joined by educational psychologist Tara Jackson. And we're going to speak about child development. Good morning, Tara. Good morning, Carrie. Thanks for having us Thanks back on. Yeah, <laughs> you know, um, we, we missed you all, you know. We had a yeah, little break a little for break. a couple of weeks yeah. and stuff. But you're back now, so it's yeah. good to um, have Therapy Weeks um, back. Now, we're speaking about child development. So firstly, yes. what is child development? So child development is really just um, growth that we see um, in an individual from birth all the way up to adulthood um, and really today I just wanted to kind of focus on the importance of child development so really looking at um, the early ages of early ages of life so right. really focusing on zero through six years okay yeah, yeah that is very early yeah and what are the major areas of development during that stage okay so um, well just develop development stages all throughout our life we're right. looking at not just physical, which is what most parents and persons um, working with kids tend to focus on, is that physical growth and development that we see, but there are more areas of development that are important, right? right. So there's language, um, which is uh, those listening and talking skills, so our receptive language skills, our expressive language skills, um, and then also there's cognitive, so that's just, um, you know, overall thinking, um, right. problem solving, and then, of course, social emotional. So uh, development of um, understanding of self, understanding of others. Um, and that is actually the area where we see development happen happening the, uh, the slowest. Okay. Yeah? Hmm, I wonder why. Uh, it's just... Um, in terms of uh, just when we look at how skills, uh, how kids master skills, you, in terms of when you're born, the first thing is you, you come, you're, you're born, you're a baby, right? Um, and you're listening, you're exploring your environment, yeah, and then comes, yeah, point. and then you, then you start talking, so then comes understanding emotions. So all of those things, those layers happen later on. Right. Yeah, and not a lot of people um, understand that emotional development actually happens later on. Okay. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that people generally focus on uh, physical development, yeah. but um, what they need to focus on more are these things such as co cognitive, communicative, cognitive, and such. language. Uh, why so is all it of important? the areas, um, because all of the areas are important just for growth, right? But I feel well, people focus on physical development because it's what we see. So you know, a baby is born, and then they become a toddler, and then a preschooler, and then they're into primary school. So physical development is what we can see. Right. All the other areas are things that. Um, we don't see, right? But they're right. just as important as the physical development. Now, you went through some stages there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, what would you consider a developmental milestone? So a developmental milestone is uh, just, uh, uh, how to put it, a master um, skill that, in terms of just research, we have an idea of what particular skills a kid is supposed to master by a particular age. So that's what that developmental milestone is. Are there any major um, signs of delay for these mentioned milestones? Okay, so in general, if you go online and you just type in developmental milestone, you'll see um, different uh, ages and ranges come up. So for example, walking, right. typically uh, a kid would start walking between 11 months and 16 months, right? So if for some reason the kid starts to walk outside of that range, then that's what we would consider developmental delay. Okay. Yeah. So, so further back, but what if, what if um, the kid starts walking before? Yeah, so they have kids that, that walk earlier. And what's quite interesting is in terms of among twins, um, particularly identical twins, well, they are born at the same time, they look alike, but they may um, develop skills at different levels. So right. I've interacted with twins where one started walking first and the other walked later, or one started talking first, the other one started talking later. All right, so. um, we do have to cut now, and okay. unfortunately, because we're out okay. of time, but I, you know, of course, we wanna see you again next sure, week, or the week, to continue this conversation, yeah. and, you know, really get into the nitty gritty yeah. of and um, understanding just um, yeah. identifying delays early. Yeah. For early intervention is important. Yes, definitely. So okay. thank you so much, Tara Jackson, for joining us this thank morning. Thank you. Tara is an educational psychologist, and she will be back with us um, soon to continue this conversation okay. on educational development and child development.